Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Captain Bailey's Adventures and Pipe Tobacco Reviews. And I picked up some Peterson's of Dublin 3Ps, Perfect Plug. Alright, um, I saw Old Dirty Piper's video on this and I was intrigued. I was like, okay, I want something different than, um, because I just finished, uh, my Sherlock Holmes blend. So, um, I'm going to give this a crack and, uh, oh, let's see what it's all about. Uh, this excellent plug tobacco comprises of selected Virginia leaf from Africa and Brazil and blended with burly leaf from Malawi. Malawi, okay. And the tobaccos are lightly pressed before drying and then pressing and get, and then pressing and then healed or heated, I can't read this, heated and stored for two weeks before cutting. This result is a full body, yet strong, yet yada, 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 you know. Uh, strength is a four. Uh, aromatic taste is a two. And room note is a two. Let's see. Let's see over here, a little kiss and pop, I don't know. Better thing to open these things. No, I can't get it. Chinese tool knockoff. Lost my old, my real check tool. That's a nice sturdy one. But, uh, I can't find it, can I? This thing is like Chinese. Hold that thought. Alright, let's try that again. Ooh, yeah. Interesting notes. Now I have reservations because I'm not a plug guy. I like my ribbon cut. So we shall see. Yeah, it's it's mm, getting like dark, juicy fruit raisins. Something there. And so that's what it looks like. Super. Tight plug. Um, the reason why I say I have reservations because it says it's the strength, and I it's just whew, looks like a daggone fig, fig Newton. Um, I'd have to get you know. I mean, I'm not used to chopping up my own tobacco. I mean, you know, there's a science to this, and you know, and then like, am I going to chop enough for my smoking session? So that's why I tend to like never really ever buy a plug, um, even though. You're gonna have some really good tobacco. I mean, I'm liking that. Oh, Hint of cinnamon. To me. You know, I'm getting like some sort of cinnamony note in there, along with uh, like figs. Uh, so that's what it looks like. Hopefully, you can see it in this lighting. Dark. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, bring you back in, in a little bit when we're out on the porch and try to uh, cut this up as best I can and see. So, uh, yeah, I'll bring you back when we're back on the porch. Okay, cut off a couple, two little hunks here. And that's what she's looking at. Nice. There you go. Well, I guess I'm going to rub these out and see what I can do with it. Ugh, a lot of work. A lot of work for a smoke. Alright, guys. Here we are. First impressions. Definitely tasting the Virginias. Oh my God. Come out here for two seconds and the mosquitoes are already swarming me. <laughs> Summertime. Let's 
So, the, upon lighting it and the first initial taste, it tastes very similar to Sherlock Holmes. I guess it's the Virginias. I'm not getting that topping or whatever that. I mean, it smells way different than obviously Sherlock Holmes does. But I'm not good at trying to pick nuances out, you know, things like that. So. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm smelling that a little bit of fruitiness in there and the Virginia's. You know, similar notes to, like I said, the Peterson blend, the uh, Sherlock Holmes blend. Because that's just a straight up natural Virginia. Mm. So I am liking this, obviously. Because I love, that, as you know, that's my go to tobacco. Are saying it's stronger, so I don't know if I'll get a nick hit or not, but we shall see. Yeah, there's something else there. I'm sure as I get further down the bowl, I'm going to start seeing differences and seeing other, obviously other things, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's an interesting, like, sour sour note there. Yeah, now it's changing. Mm -hmm. Like It has those similar qualities, but then yeah, now there's that soury, vinegary thing going on in there. Mm -hmm. I taste it on the draw in. Yeah, I'm now when I'm, you know, go like this with my palate, I'm getting like black licorice type thing going. Very faint, but there's something like a black licorice, along with that flavor profile that from the aroma, when you first open up the tin, the smell of the plug, that's on the tongue. That's there. Mmm, quite interesting. So, thank you, old dirty, for uh, sharing that with me. In that one, of, one of his last videos, he had, was showing all different types of tobacco. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm digging this. So, the only thing is, like I said, I, I hate having to cut my own tobacco and spend, you know, almost like an extra 10 minutes instead of just opening up my jar, you know, putting a little, you know, tobacco in and out, 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 out I go, you know. Now it's like I gotta sit down, I gotta get a knife, I gotta cut the daggone thing up, I gotta rub it out, <laughs> you know. And like I did, I took too much and like so I put the rest in the jar with the plug, but you know, and it's like I just don't know how much to cut, so maybe just one little, little sliver. Learning, learning process, I guess. This is the second plug I've ever tried. The only other plug was the Dreams of Cadet by Cornell and Deal. And that was good. I had that wine type of something in my eye. Some sort of wine flavored top note or whatever. But like I said, I'm done with all the pretty much Cornell and Deal. I'm just going to stick with my stuff. I mean, unless they come up with another love crap blend. The last one was just blah. It was that grape, that grape crap. But, I mean, because I'm a sucker for the tin art for the love crap line. Now, I don't know if they're coming out with anything new or not. But... So, oh. Sit back and enjoy this and see if I can pick out anything else. And uh, you enjoy the rest of your weekend or whatever you're getting up to. Um, 
to stay tuned for the other videos, brewing things and, and uh, all that. So, I'm the captain and the first mate. Remember, let's set sail.